What is up, everybody? In this video, we're going to be no hitting Elden Ring using Carrion Slicer. This is a sorcery that can be purchased from any sorcerer trainer after giving them the Royal House Scroll. The spell summons a magical sword that swings very quickly and has absurd DPS. You'll see during this run that this spell alone can out DPS almost all of the top weapons in Elden Ring. A lot of you who are watching these videos are not subscribed, so if you enjoy this type of content, it'd be greatly appreciated if you would consider doing so. But for now, sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy the run. Yeah, so at the start of November, I made a bet where if... So I had to do four, the 40 um, run requests before the end of the year. And if I didn't, then I had to do the God Run 3. So that was the bet. But then I had another incentive for God Run 3 with like a sponsored stream, where if people just met a goal, then I would do the God Run 3. because, And so people did it. So now, now the uh, I have to do the God Run 3 anyways. I just said no to her by accident. I haven't done that in a while. Usually that happens when I'm resetting a lot and not really paying attention to what's happening. I bequeath. <laughs> Denied. It'd be cool if something actually happened if you said no. It's kind of, I don't know. It's stupid that you, you say no and then you just have to say yes anyways. And like, why do they even give you a choice, dude? Makes no sense. That's it, you guys. We're taking Sekiro out of the God Run 3. <laughs> We're going to do Elden Ring twice. How about that? Surely that's fine, right? Wow, that was so close. Yeah, people have done Breath of the Wild no hit. Yeah, I think it's actually a team hitless, like, official game. Um, let's go here. But when you're running Skyrim, especially on Legendary, it's a lot... It's it's very random, right? You have to adapt to what's going on. And I think it's, it's, it's actually really fun. Well, I think... I mean, I think it's more than six minutes usually, but yeah, it's like... What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that, that Jadar clip is insane. Yeah, so that, that clip, I, I don't remember if that was on Legendary or not. But basically, that's an enemy that's at the very first part of the dungeon. That when you when you enter into new areas, it's like a, it's a whole different map, right? That gets loaded in. But NPCs can potentially travel through them if they're aggro to you. And so you you exit that area into, an, into the next like level of the dungeon, basically. And somehow, he was still aggroed. <laughs> through the through the whole thing and he teleported with me because that's what they can do and then fucking instantly killed me in the next area dude yeah who knows you guys i i did say i told somebody a few months ago that i would do a more win no damage run so maybe we'll do that at some point I'm actually really excited for that, that now, dude. We're definitely we're gonna do it. I, I I'm I'm pretty set on doing that at this point. I think there really are just a lot of runs I want to do, though. I I would also like to do Celeste, like No Falls, at some point. I think that'd be really cool. And then I I've also been wanting to do Cuphead as well, but I don't. I'm not in any rush to do it. Starfield no hit, maybe. But I obviously wouldn't do no hit. I'd do no damage, of course, but. Wait, let me try the sleep pod. I, I don't know. I I mean, that didn't really seem to do anything, but. Okay, just simply win.
Dude, Red Wolf is no joke, man. Yeah, no, Red Wolf, he's, I think he's really underrated, actually. It's just, I, I hate the arena. Array monitor, I have not. Really like runs like this where we go to sections that we would never normally go to. Ooh, I thought he aggroed there. That would have been not ideal. Just because when this guy aggroes, the guy up top aggroes. They have like a, a linked aggro. No, we don't actually need Gambit here. Spectators are more nervous than the player. Uh, it just depends. I, I actually don't think that's true. It, it could be true for certain people, but... I've definitely heard of people saying, like, their hands get... I had no idea that guy could climb. <laughs> Oh, okay. We don't have the bow right now to aim. I didn't think about this. No way. Oh my god. I cannot believe I just headshotted him. <laughs> I, I wonder if that's like some argot, auto target nonsense right there. Please, Diagro. Oh, <laughs> what a save. What a wild save. Now, that, how is that lucky, dude? That's pure skill right there. There's no possible way that somebody did a first playthrough and a first blind playthrough and found everything that they could. There's no way that happened. Is there a staff? Is, um, it's our, the staff that we use, and it's also... Um, it gives us cast speed. Um, so let's go... Where do we gotta go? This game I play online in Steam because it actually makes no difference at all. Alright, so we got the medallions. Let's go here. Yeah, I changed... Yeah, I did... I updated the green screen, of course. The the snow background. Wonder uh, for the for the bingo league that's starting up pretty soon. I wonder if I should do specific practice for it. What was I doing by the way? I came here for what reason? I don't know why I came here. <laughs> I actually have no idea. Oh oh oh! I was here for the the tier. There's been like I'm in the Discord with all the guys who are you know talking about it, and I've not paid I I've not paid attention and I've not read anything that's been said yet, like Domo and and Aggie and Chris and stuff. They're all figuring stuff out. I do think I'll be at a pretty big disadvantage for that just because I haven't done any bingo challenges with them before. Whereas I think they they do bingo races like all the time. So. I'll just have to look at all the challenges. We'll look at them eventually. See what they all are. Like this is all already established I assume then. But no, I'm very curious to look at the, the list of stuff, though. See what kind of challenges there are. I did not mean to split the avatar right there. I don't know what I was doing. I, I, I meant to have a volcano split there. Let me add that in. Here we go. When I look at the list of stuff, or when, and when I look back on the conversations in the Discord about the rules for that stuff, then I'll, like, maybe I'll have some, maybe I'll have some ideas, you know? I think, I think I have some pretty good ideas. Maybe that's just because they're mine, but when it came to Amit, at least I think I had some pretty decent ideas for, for stuff. Uh, so how much intelligence do we need? I think we only need 36, right? Then we get to 42 and then 52. We start investing in anything else right now. I'll just get some decent amount because we have the crown now, right? So now I think 43 and this is 52. So we've got the intelligence tier. Got to put in. With that one for now. Oh, I need to go get Gambit now. And at this point, I um, I like sleeping in a little bit and having time to like work out in the morning and stuff. Yo, Kurt, thanks for the ten gifted subs, dude. Insane. Thanks so much, Kurt. Appreciate it, dude. 
Okay, I'm gonna take this fucking stupid helmet off so I can see what the hell's going on here. Last time I missed that firebomb throw because of it. Okay, here we go. Oh. Why can't I wield the staff? Oops. Why can't I wield the goddamn staff, dude? Oh, the helmet. Oh, thank you. I, I, I totally forgot the helmet, dude. That was pretty funny. Stupid fucking helmet. Okay, so let's kill this death bird. Hopefully I don't die here. That would kind of suck. Also medium rolling. It's not ideal. Ah, oh, okay. There we go. Nice one. not ideal the, the, actually the most dangerous part of that fight is just mo accidentally moving too close to that like octopus squid thing okay are we are we finally done the setup dude i think so yeah actually this setup isn't this setup isn't really that bad to be honest we do still have to go kill duo crystallion though but there's been several runs that were way longer than this the sorcery only run was probably an hour and 40 minutes before we started doing anything I just, I, I could have done more than that on the opening. Like, you can actually just script Margit with this, but I didn't really want to, uh, want to, um, do anything stupid, so. I'm gonna swap to this staff for now, just because I do have to kill somebody. I guess I, I could use Red Feather for Godric, but it's just so unnecessary. We can actually use Red Feather here, you guys. I'm going to. I'm already low HP. Pretty sure I'm light rolling. Actually, I'm probably not light rolling. I just need to be a bit careful here. Yeah, it's because of the strength requirement. It, if I don't wield it effectively, the spell will do the same damage, but it'll take more stamina. So that's why I do that. All right, there we go. Yeah, how about uh, we could have like a, a, a pull or what, what do you guys prefer? For the Marcus Hammer run, which is obviously you obtain it from the Elden Remembrance, which is the final boss. 
would you guys rather us do it on NG plus or uh, base NG when we're just cheated in? And on NG plus, we would start out with levels. We'd start out with a max upgrade hammer, the talismans that we need, all that stuff. Okay, I think most people are saying NG, which is what we usually do, so. I, I honestly don't care either way just because we've um, we've already done a lot of runs on, on base NG. Man, we could use Howl now, I'm realizing. We can already use Howl. That's pretty insane. Let's go. Let's just do it. Let's go ahead and get the... I did get this grace. Yeah, with Howl... So it's 33 faith, right? But there's so many boosting things that you can get in the game. One thing I really like about this game, you can boost your stats so much that we only need 12, or sorry, 13. Did I get to 13 or 12? You can get to 13 faith and get to 33 with the, the talisman, two finger heirloom, which is the talisman I meant. Godric Great Rune is an additional five, and then the faith tier is an additional 10. So just like that, you got 20 stats and then get to 33. Uh, what am I doing here? We're fighting the boss. I need the crown. Yeah, at this point, I'm I'm pretty confident in how quickly I can get runs in this game. Oh, I should have gotten the grace down here to get to Redan. I actually just didn't think about that at all. Man, that's so... Which way is faster now? <laughs> I don't know. I don't actually know. I, I guess maybe Aeroth is faster. I, I don't know. No, I think... No, it's supposed to be Redan, but I say Redan because I don't care. We could get the pot from this guy, I guess. Champions! Hey, we're light load right now. I guess because of the Godricks. Oh, wait, I can use Howl, you guys, because we're at, we're at 50, oh, and I forgot about Godric's, okay, well, let's go back, I want to see this damage with Howl, so yeah, we got to put the uh, Faith one in, uh, the God Run 3 will probably be um, early next year, we got the Faith tier, Magic tier, got to swap this out as well, I remember if that was actually higher or lower damage than last time we did it. RTSR is just, there's no point in most cases, right? It just takes long to set up. I actually very rarely use Red Feather on these runs unless it's absolutely required. Okay, so now let's get Glimp Blade. We need Glimp Blade. Now the spell speed is the same. Like we've got the exact same setup. We got the stone swords. Good. We need Beast Torch and we need Gambit. So we're killing the Crystallians for um, our uh, Terra Magica. Okay. So. This is the right setup, I think.
Nice. Very satisfying using glimp blades on, on that boss. Wonder if a similar sort of strategy would work on the trio Crystallian with low damage like this. If you could actually isolate them. So this will be interesting on the Sentinel. We'll have Terra Magica and Howl on him. Okay, I believe if I stand right against this gate, if I use Howl, he shouldn't aggro. Learn that from the... I didn't actually expect him to aggro there when I casted that, but does it matter? All right, here we go. Imagine the boss ever following up the combo, dude. It's gonna keep slowly leveling up endurance. So Morgoth, we just spam him down. I don't think it was very complicated. We we have just extra damage from Howl here too, so. What's the final spell slot and uh, or the final ring slot, you guys? Did I like forget a talisman somewhere? <laughs> uh, Ritual sword, Radagons, and then heirloom. Where do, where do I get the last talisman that we use? And what even is it? Oh, dude, it's the Red Wolf. Oh my god, I totally forgot about that. I guess we can go get it. <laughs> I just totally forgot about it, dude. But, it, I mean, it actually is just almost nothing, but... Yeah, the insane 4%. <laughs> yeah, surely Morgoth could spawn his swords with... Our extra 25% damage that we have on this run compared to the routing. Surely. We did finish sorcery only. And it, the run's actually up on YouTube if people missed it. I think Matt added a command. Exclamation mark new vid or something. Got sword. I have not done that. Is it actually any good? Or got sword? Funny oh, same tiers. Bloodhound Fang. So it's decent then, right? I mean, Bloodhound Fang is pretty good. Endurance is really useful, man. I'm gonna get some. Why do I have the helmet on here? Should I should I set up Red Feather? I guess I will. I'll use Red Feather. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this helmet on for Howl. Item three sounds very stressful. Well, I I mean it's just a it's a no hit run, right? It shouldn't be any more stressful than any other run I've done. I don't think. Oh wait, don't I rebuff Howl? Should have thought about that.
I had more time. I could have gotten like one or two more in there, but I just wanted to play it safe. Yeah, I'm not actually certain there if Terra Magica does anything. There's no doubt though with with the, like the full sorcerer or the full magic damage set up here with the magic scorpion you definitely one cycle them there for sure though on an all remembrances like i will i do want to do sorcery no hit all remembrances and on that i will probably i will probably get the magic scorpion because you got to go past her anyways okay so here um dude did i have no, okay, never mind. I was thinking Fire Giant and Mesta. Hopefully I didn't just throw this too fast. Oh, did I already Golden Battle? Doesn't matter. So this should be a pretty comfortable one cycle, I'd assume. So I'm just gonna... That's Terra Magica. Is that a one cycle, though? I'll just go for it. I don't care. I actually aggroed a bird here last time and I had to fight him with uh I guess that was with the executioner sword I just realized I actually never tested killing this bird but it should one shot him right but assume this is a one shot Let's get the uh, plus 10. Let's get some more endurance and more intelligence. Probably more intelligence at this point, actually. I think I got to... Okay, wait a second. So with... I mean, yeah, let's just go all intelligence, actually. That's good. Not sure why I did all those buffs so early. Wow, very early uh, phase two there. Why was that so much worse this time? Kind of weird, isn't it? Like last time we killed them before anything even happened at the phase two, but maybe I think it's just because the uh, the buffs ran out. A slightly longer phase one than normal. Okay, so Gideon um, definitely need red feather here. I think this is good, right? I'm pretty sure I had this amount of intelligence last time. So Gideon, we need to use red feather.
stand before the Elden Ring. Did I drink first? I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, so he did the rollback this time, but it is fine if he does that. It doesn't matter if he does that on this. Sometimes he can stand still and like try to swing at me, but it's just the only thing that's important is that I kill him in in those five hits. If it's any more, then it's actually not safe to do that. Yeah, so on Elden Beast, we should be able to kill him before Elden Stars comes out with just, just raw damage output. Yeah, it's pretty insane. There's not many setups that can do that. Endurance is good and Mind is good. Okay, so I just need to remember this fight. We probably want just more mind and more endurance, I think. And then transition, we vow, drink, and then owl. I guess I actually didn't have to drink there earlier, but... There we go. No problem. Easy. Yeah, there's not like many things in the game that can do that like that, dude. I can just kill Elden Beast just based on pure damage output like that before, before Elden Stars. Yeah, GG, dude. Nice. Actually, I didn't think we were going to get this run today just because the, the early game was kind of rough, but yeah, we just we just had to get past the setup and then no problem.